Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So we're going to be showing you guys all the competitive matches that we played STMN in the monthly finals. Now there were a lot of really great matches. I have a lot of great matchups to show you against a lot of fantastic players. We're going to break down every game, what we were thinking, what the opponents were thinking and everything in between. With that being said, let's waste no more time. Let's hop into the games and let's get on going. So going into the first game here, we're going to be facing Aphelion in the first round. So how the first round works in the Brawl Stars World Finals for the monthlies is it's a best of three, best of three. So each map is a best of three. The first one to win two games takes the map. And then it's a sets best of three. So the first one to take two maps out of the three maps you play is the winner. So they're going to go with the 8-bit Mr. P comp. We were kind of expecting that. Um, we thought there was a chance that they were going to go with Piper and Ruffs. Originally, we thought they were going to ban Ruffs, so we weren't really prepared for it. Um, and then when we saw it wasn't banned, it's something we're okay with because we feel very strong with uh, Ruffs in play. I'm going to call him the dog a couple times throughout this video, so don't get too uh, thrown off by that. But Slash is going really aggro. I'm able to curveball him about 15 seconds ago, which gives us a little bit of position. Toonie and OG doing a really good so uh, job just holding their positions. They're going to put Slash on Toonie. Um, I think Piper be Mr. P. Mr. P is a counter for Piper, of course, with the uh, with the Penguins and all that. And the shots are kind of annoying. The gadgets are annoying. Mr. P getting a nerf, though, is very OP, especially for the brawlers I play. Gene, Piper do get countered a lot by Mr. P, so I'm happy to see that nerf. But things are pretty even. OG is able to give us a power-up. I know Ruffs versus uh, 8-Bit isn't really the easiest matchup, so he's doing a really good job. I'm able to get a couple kills. Tuni gets the super on safe, so we have a 43% lead. A little over halfway through the game, things are looking really good. Tuni's going to go down after extending to get the damage, and Zar is going to be able to get a very good amount of damage. This map is not one that my team in particular loves to play. I'm pretty confident on it because I like the brawlers that we get to play on it. Colt, Piper, 8-Bit, Mr. P, Ruffs. You know, just a bunch of brawlers that we're pretty comfortable playing. Um, but it just doesn't seem to work out for us sometimes. So we're doing pretty decent. Sky kind of overextends there. I'm able to get a little bit of a hit on him. I'm trying to figure out where that porter is because I keep having to waste my shots on these penguins. And I want to just go for Sky. This guy's going to get a little bit too close to me there. I'm going to be able to hit really easy shots on him. Penguin in my face, trying to find that porter, not able to find it. So instead, I just decide to take out Zara and just try and hold position. 25 seconds left, up a little bit under 20%. Things are looking pretty good for us. We are pretty confident. We have three power-ups, position, everything is going well. Um, Sky's playing pretty passive. They do have two supers, which is a little bit scary. I thought I hit Zara over there. Instead, I hit a penguin. Sky uses his gadget so we have to take a, t a couple shots at that Zara just moves up slash moves up they all move up and they're able to get the first win on the first map now moving into the second game now before we get too much into it don't roast sky for spinning a lot of you guys roast people for spinning calling them toxic whenever me and sky we're homies if it's not a real match if we face sky and there's no spins involved uh it's non-toxic it's completely friendly even though it is in a monthly final in a game that we should have won for any of you affiliate players that are watching we definitely should have won that game you guys got lucky but anyways um moving into the second game we're gonna be going with the exact same comps again they feel like they did a good job they won the game we feel like we won two minutes and 25 seconds of that game and lost in the last five seconds so we're like all right Let's run it back. It felt pretty good. Let's just try and not lose like we lost last time. Lanes are pretty easy over here. They're going to switch their lanes. Slash is going to be on my lane so far at during this game. Um, I went to the left just to try and open things up a little bit or try and see if I can get a couple snipes. Um, OG's doing a really good job on Slash. I decided to take the 8-bit. Don't think that was called out. Don't think it's because OG counters or anything. I think we just naturally ended up switching because it just worked out better. Um, I'm able to pick up the kill on Zara over there. I get a good, you know, amount of shots on that safe. Toonie gets a couple, I think. I don't really know. I think OG does, and we're up by 34%. Um, again, really early lead for us. It's looking good. OG gave me the power-up. He gave it to me because Piper's pretty easy to win lane with against these two brawlers if I have the power-up. They're both two top for me. Pretty simple. Um, Zara's doing a really good job at lasering us. So, again, a minute left in the game. We're up by a good amount, just like... Know, we were last game so at this point we're just talking to ourselves you know we're saying let's try not lose the same way as last time they don't have a very aggro comp it's a lot about control and the fact that we've had more control over them even though they have a more control comp kind of speaks to how well we're playing so far in these two games even though we're down 1-0 og goes down which means it's time for zar to push up he goes up don't know what this curveball shot 
I don't know why, that was a different curveball shot that I was thinking of. We're able to get the kill there on Zara. I'm just going to ignore that penguin because we were down. I just wanted to get the lead over there. Kind of wasted my jump. I really hate when I waste my jump. I'm very OCD about it. This guy got caught lacking with the auto aim over there. He's going to shoot backwards. Uh, but 20 seconds left, we're up by little. So again, we're saying we have to continue putting on the pressure. I hit Zar. I hit Sky. Um, Sky is going to use his gadget. I get Zar to 191 HP. Which triggers me so much because they're going to come down the map now. We're taking our shots. I'm able to take out Zar, although he does throw his boost forward. OG misses his power up by a little bit. I think he was going for Zar, and they somehow get 3%. And in a game that we feel like we should have won again, we lose the exact same way. And we are down 2 or 2-0 on the map, I guess. So they're going to take the map down 1-0 in total sets. We're going to move on to split now. Which, if you guys don't know, split, I don't really like split that much. But we have some good strategies that we thought would be pretty good heading into it. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what happened. Now, before we get into this game, I know you affiliate players are watching. And before you guys say anything about the heist win, we should have won both games. You guys got very lucky that you won both games. We should have won it. And when you tag me on Discord later and say I'm wrong, I'm right. I don't, I don't care. But anyways... Going into the next game, our strategy for this map, we kind of copied this from a different region, was to go Poco Frank on the right side. Um, the start of this game was a little bit funny. I don't know if you guys saw OG coming on the left. He thought he was going to be coming on my lane. I had to tell them that he was on the right side with Tooney over there. A little bit of a miscommunication, I guess, with our team. Um, but really good start. BB on that left side is brutal. It is so hard to go up against. It is basically impossible to kill when it's a 1v1 lane. They were going with the dog roughs i'm sorry i'm gonna keep calling it the dog it's, it's, that's just how i call it um on the right side in the tick so i guess they're slowly trying to work their way into the zone getting a couple power-ups then once they hold control you know hold that down i'm sure they thought that czar on the left side being the in incredible player that czar is also incredible at rico in particular he would have been able to hold it uh fortunately for me i was able to win that lane again bb is really strong in that left lane so we have 91 percent tuning og did a really good job at holding that right side but now they're all fed they all have power-ups and this portion of the game is a little bit scary og saying you know let's just go as a team you know whatnot um i just kept going in over and over saying nah it's fine we're gonna win only need six percent but here we kind of pick it all together they're gonna use all their shots on tuny i'm gonna stand there do my best juking impressions that i can og's gonna get the heals off and we're going to be able to take this first game. I think this comp was really good as a first game comp. The reason we brought it up first game was to kind of catch them off guard. A lot of the time we just go with chill, relaxed comps that are kind of good into everything into first game. So we can kind of feel it out. We went really aggressive here. We went for a strategy that not a lot of teams have seen or used. And it paid off, worked really well. So let's hop into the second game and let's show you guys what's up. Now going into the next game, they decided to stick with the same comp. Don't really know why. I don't think it worked out too well for them. I think Zar kind of just popped off at the end of the last game, which brought it close. But I don't think it was really winnable. They do have a new strategy, though. They saw the BB, so they decided, I guess, to send the the dog um, to the left side with the tick. Kind of just 2v1 me. Um, I was able to take out one, not both. Toonie's going to do a massive, massive favor for me and take out Sky, which is just going to make it a 1v1 for a little bit. Slash just throws the uh, power up on me. Don't really know why. They're not going to be able to get it. Um, OG's holding that right side really well. As you guys can see, Zard just took control, but OG almost has half of it. I'm going to be able to take out Slash. Again, he's going to throw the power up on me. This time, it's going to connect, and he's going to be able to get the kill. This is obviously, you know, goaded value. As um, Sky gets the power up, he gets supercharge, and he gets the kill. So Toonie gets the first power up for us. OG and Zard are going to trade. Toonie does a fantastic job at keeping Sky kind of just in that corner, basically getting him down. I think he misclicked his gadget button over there. Don't really know. Didn't notice that until watching this, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, he's going to stay alive over there, which is really crucial since he does have the power up. 19 HP. That's kind of a funny number to stay alive at. We're able to get a couple kills over there. Um, I'm able to take out Sky. Tickhead's going to hit me. Right side was held really nicely by Toonie and OG. Um, we're going to be able to take this left side as well. We're going to be able to kill Zar. Six more seconds. we got to stay alive. I'm doing my best to juke. Two people focusing me. Not really the best. I'm juking 99%. Tuni's just going to waddle in there with his gadget. I guess his wasted one earlier doesn't really matter. And we're going to be able to take the split win. Or the split set, sorry. Pretty convincingly. Now it's one to one for each team. We're going to be going into the final match. Which of course has to be minecart madness the worst map 
for a tiebreaker that I could ever ask for. Maybe Snake Prairie might be up there, but this one, I don't know. I, I just don't want my fate being in the hands of the minecart. So let's hop onto it, or let's hop into it, not onto it, and let's show you guys what happened. So here we go into the first game. We're gonna go with Lieutenant General, I don't know what his name is, something roughs, the dog. And Toonie's gonna go with Mr. P. Reason we went for this is we were expecting uh, Ruffs and Mr. P lane. We were trying to find some counters to that, but we really couldn't think of anything that we liked too much going into that outside of mirroring. So we just decided to mirror. OG has been playing a lot of Ruffs, so it's something that we're really confident in. And then Mr. P, I mean, Toonie can hold it down on Mr. P. It's not really a, pro a brawler that Toonie practices a ton, but Toonie's good enough kind of just to pick up a brawler that's meta and just be able to play with it. And, Figure it out as the game goes on and, you know, just win lane somehow. He's going to go down there at the start. I'm going to be able to hit Sky with a curveball, which is going to keep him kind of low and help out Toonie regain position. Uh, Toonie's going to throw his Penguin onto Slash. Unfortunately, the Minecart said, no, you're not allowed to have this. It's a pretty good start for the other team as well. Slash is powered up. We're even in gems at this point. Slash does kind of get trapped over here, so Toonie's going to get some really juicy value hitting Toonie. And um, Slash's power-up thing, 8-bit turret, um, at the same time. Toonie has lane over here, so it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to be chilling in this mid. A little bit of a scary position with the minecart there. Um, Sky being alive and Slash being a powered-up 8-bit. But at the same time, um, you know, we can kind of just juke out of it. Not really too big of a deal. Didn't want to panic, waste my jump. We, When you play this map in, on the competitive level, a lot of things that happen, you kind of do things with the minecart rotation so you go aggro when the minecart pushes them in their spawn you guys can see me and og are halfway across the map same with toonie we get a really favorable gem spawn over there if it spawned on their side of the map the minecart would have blocked it off and we would have had to wait for the full rotation of the minecart to come around and then go into their spawn before we made our aggro play luckily we got a good gem spawn and we're just going to be able to take this one pretty easily. Not too much of a threat this game from the other team. Did Nothing really happened outside of Toonie getting picked off at the start. But that really isn't too big of a deal. I think Zar, or I mean Slash maybe hit him one too many times. I didn't really help out his lane. But then he won it back. Easy wins. OG held. I held. Pretty good game. So this is match point now. If we win the next game, we're going to be able to take the match and move on to round two. And this is a really good team. This is basically the only good first round matchup that there was. All the really elite tier one teams kind of got teams that are new to monthly finals and haven't really played too much. So this match was really only the big important round one match. But with that being said, let's hop into the next game and let's keep it going. So hopping into the next game, comps are going to stay the same. Don't really know what lanes could be better. Perhaps a Pam lane, but I don't know if Pam could provide as much value um, against Ruffs. Just because Ruffs is so strong once you, you know, just chill and wait as the time and as the game goes on, you get stronger and stronger. Uh, we got first minecart, and when I mean we got, I mean we got the advantage of the first minecart. They're the ones that got screwed over by it. Toonie's doing a really good job on lane. Zara kind of got caught out over there, went a little bit aggressive when he shouldn't have. And we were able to pick up the kill on him with the pinch. Toonie is going to get a porter really, really early into the game. Their Ruffs has also used two sandbags, which is something that's really, really good for us. Sandbags do counter me as a piper, so having that out of the way is really good. I'm able to hit Slash once. Toonie gets two really nice shots, and we're going to be able to take him out. That was a really textbook kill. Really good pinch and play by myself and Toonie. We're going to get the first power-up. Eight gem spawns in. I mean, it's kind of hard to get a power-up off of Mr. P, so it's definitely not... OG losing or anything. He's definitely held lane throughout the entirety of this game. Um, we're able to take out Zara over there. They kind of have to go aggro. We get a really lucky shot that goes through the bags, able to hit Slash. This is actually a really scary point because Toonie does get hit and Zara does have curve, but I move up and I body block it. Something that's really important, something that you have to be careful of and cautious when picking up that last gem against the Piper is the two tap with the curve. But they give up. Sky gives up. Toonie and OG do a little bit of a spin at the end to remind them of the spins that they gave us in game one. But yeah, that's gonna wrap up the first set, the first, or sorry, not the first set, the first match, and we're gonna take the win over AE and push us into the second round against IX, who is someone we seem to face every single tournament. Now, for this match, we are gonna show you guys that match tomorrow, as I don't have many videos I can show you guys. This Power League matchmaking is like an hour and a half, and I can't make videos on that. Ladder is basically dead at this point, so I can't make videos on that. And the meta hasn't changed in a really long time, so I haven't really been able to show you guys too much, uh, which is a big reason for why I've been a little bit inactive on YouTube. 
but there's so many tournaments coming up there is so many balance changes coming up the meta is going to shift there's going to be so many videos coming up for you guys but anyways thank you guys for watching like the video if you are excited about tomorrow's video versus ix comment section please do not spoil it for people who haven't watched a lot of people don't stay up to date and watch it through these videos so it'd be cool if they can get a live reaction rather than see you know what happens in the comment section but anyways it's gonna be it for me today hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys did thumbs up subscribe comment all that but i will see you guys again tomorrow peace